Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. My name is Akash Elias, and uh, today we will see the history of pharmacology. That how, with the passage of time, things were evolved. So, as we know, that early drugs were extracted from plants, animals, and minerals. Then, in 2700 BB, earliest recorded drug use was found in Middle East and China. The first time the drug use was found in Middle East and China. Then in 1550 BC, Egyptians created Ebers Medical Papyrus. Basically, Ebers Medical Papyrus was a book related to medicine of herbal, herbal medicines. So it was written by George, in which castor oil, opium and moldy breads were mentioned. In that book, it was mentioned about castor oil that it, it, it can be used as a laxative also for hair growth and due to its natural antiviral and antimicrobial properties, it can also be used for the problems of skin as dermatosis as well as fungal infections. Opium used for pain, moldy breads used for healing of wounds and bruises. It is believed that a fungal bread like a moldy bread have some microbial properties or antiseptic properties. So in the Ebers medical papyrus about castor oil, its use, opium, its use, moldy bread and how it is medically used was mentioned. Then came <coughs> the era of Galen. Galen was a Roman physician who initiated the common use of prescription. He was the first who introduced the common use of prescription. Then in 1240 AD, introduction of apothecary or apothecary system was introduced. It was first set of standard drugs and measurement currently being phased out. So basically what was apothecary or apothecary systems? It was a system introduced by Arab physicians for measuring, for weighing the amount of drugs prepared. So it was the first standard systems used for the drug measurement, drug weighing. But currently it has been ruled out. Then came the 15th century. In 15th century, apothecary shops were owned by barbers, physicians, surgeons, and independent merchants. So what are apothecary shops? Apothecary shops, uh, these were the shops where medicines were formulated, where medicines were made and given the final form from where a physician or common person purchase that medicine for his use. Then in 18th century, smallpox vaccine was invented or was discovered by the Jenner. Digitalist drugs from foxglove plant was also discovered, which was used for strengthening of heart muscles and slowing of heart rate. Vitamin C from fruits was also observed and discovered in the 18th century. Then comes the 19th century where when the morphine and codeine extract from opium was discovered, introduction of atropine and iodine was also made. A mild nitrate used to relieve anginal pain was discovered in 19th century. Discovery of anesthetics basically two anesthetics ether and nitrous oxide so these discoveries were these discovery of our evolutions were made in 19th century then comes the 20th century in early 20th century aspirin from salicyclic acid introduction of phenobarbital insulin or sulforamide so these evolutions were made in early 20th century then in mid of 20th century in 1940 
discovery of antibiotics basically penicillin discovered by Fleming tetracycline streptomycin antihistamines and cortisones these compounds were discovered up to 1940 then in 1950 discovery of antipsychiatric drugs antihypertensives oral contraceptives and polio vaccines so these drugs and vaccine polio vaccine was made up to the era of up to the age of 1950 so it was the about history of uh, pharmacology that how with the passage of time different drugs were evolved and how different physicians contributed into the evolution of pharmacology stay blessed we'll see you soon